Uh, Sam Hallis, you featured in the reserve game on, on Tuesday against Halifax. Uh, a resounding win. Uh, you played for 25 minutes and uh, you scored a try from the halfway line. Yeah, yeah I, don't get, I don't get many long ranges, if, if any, to be fair. Um, no, it was, good, it was good to get back out there. I suffered with a bit of illness um, last week, so obviously I, I missed the, miss the Toronto game, which we which were going to, to, to watch it um, at home, um, you know, but... Um, it's part and parcel of the league. I thought the boys had a, it were a fantastic effort, and you know, to it, absolutely amazing to watch. You know, your mates go go talk to with a great team like that, and, and we were very very unfortunate to to not get the win. But yeah, on the on the facts game, it was good to get out there with some some really young talent, um, and some obviously some old some older heads as well. So a good mix in there, and, and they're all a good group of lads. The fact you played on it twenty five minutes is that an indicator that perhaps you might be featuring on Sunday against Barrow. I don't know, mate. I'm not sure. I think it might be more to the point that Doyley were Doyley were unbelievable. So you know, he, he played he played really well, and he's he, you know he's fun, he improves every single week. So um, you know he's he's going great guns. But hopefully, you know, if I get the chance to play against Barrow, then then fantastic because I want to play in the in the first team here, and and you know uh, hopefully get my shirt back and, and then keep it. So I don't I don't know. I don't know how to look into it. We'll we'll find out in due course. Obviously, you were ill last week. You sat at home and, and watched the Toronto game. What can you tell us about the manner of that performance? Just, in, just incredible. Just they never say die. We've had it all year, and we with the just unbelievable amount of pride and, and and determination in this year, as well as you know you've got to combine that with with skill and the talent that we've got in the squad. But you know to it's them intangibles that that people don't sort of see that you just watch it and think, wow, we've we've had a real good dig there. And I thought we were the better side, and I thought we were really really unfortunate to come out on the wrong end of it and there were some mammoth performances as well I thought Mikey Wood were outstanding in that middle of the field um, but yeah it was just very very unfortunate to, to not get the win and it's one of those close run games again there's been 13 this season Sam that have been won or lost within six points that's it yeah. well that's it that's rugby league that's sport in it you know we are where we are and we're off the pace for the, for the top five at the minute, but those results go the other way, and all of a sudden we're one of big noises in that top five. So that sport, we're just gonna have, you know take as medicine and deal with that, and you know we we could we can still make this top five. We firmly still believe we can get in this top five, and, and that's his main aim, and hopefully we can start flipping those results around. What's the mood been like here at, at Tong this week? Because obviously you know, similar to last week, you're now looking up rather than looking down. You are effectively relying on the sides above you to, to drop points. Yeah, it's not ideal that, but um, you know, it's it's positive it's always been positive. This is one of the best groups of blokes I've ever been involved with, if not the best. So, you know, it's it's a fantastic group of fellas. Um and it's nothing but positive all the time. Um, you know, we're all laughing and joking, but when it comes to the serious stuff we're serious and we're on it and we make each other accountable and just a fantastic place to be. I think the experience we've got in the squad really helps with that and the, the, you know the young the younger fellas are sort of are learning off them as well so we're becoming a real real good group and a real prof uh, professional outfit and the best thing for the the Bradford Bulls and, and players like yourself Sam is to control what you can control which is hopefully ending the season on a high four wins from four from the remaining four games yeah that's it we, we've we've always had this mantra of we can only control what we can control like you say and, you know we've got to focus on ourselves there's no point worrying about what the team's going to do when you know if, if we're not looking after his own back garden to start with so yeah we've got to really focus on ourselves we've got to really you know make sure that we're getting the win we're getting the performances in and whatever happens happens that's that's just life you can't deal with that like you say we've just got to focus on focus on us it is Barrow away on Sunday always a tough trip up to the Cumbrian Peninsula and the the submarine town of, of Barrow as we found out in the 1895 Cup uh, an historic uh, Low in terms of the average age of that side, they were put to the sword. But this will be a very different Bradford Bull side that plays at Craven Park on Sunday. Yeah, we're um yeah, so Cumbria is a, a real tough place to go. I think we found out we work it in Whitehaven last year, um, and knowing my amateur days, we would play Kells up there, and it's a, a real tough place to go. In fact, RFL tweeted a picture of Kells, a real red scenic view like on Cliff Edge, which is really nice. But you know, I know a few Cumbrians as well, and and you know the 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 bread tough up there. It's, it's like you say, it's a real tough place to go. Um, the side who went there in the eighteen ninety five cup, they give a real good account of themselves in that first forty minutes, um, you know, and then whatever happened in the second half happened. But you, they they can only be proud of their performance, and you know we we look at that back, and you know we realise that they had a real good dig, and you know Barrow are a good side, and we can't take them lightly. And there's a real sort of desperation to this game 
on on Sunday in effect like the Bulls can't afford to drop any more points but at the same time Barrow their three points adrift at the bottom and the last thing that Barrow want to do and their head coach Paul Carey is go through that trap door and join Rochdale in League One next year yeah that's it well, both sides have got something to play for I think that's when rugby league's at its best you know when a, when a game matters and this matters to both sides um, Barrow will be up for it and we, we can't take these lightly at all and you know I think we found out that um, positioning the league is irrelevant this year because no matter if, if one team's on off song and one team's on song then anyone can beat anyone on the day so we've got to really go to Barrow with the right attitude right frame of mind and, and hopefully we can, we can get that two points How do you feel you've developed Sam as a player this season obviously League One last year winning promotion uh, you're heavily involved in the under 16 so perhaps coaching we've talked about this in previous interviews that's probably a di- you know maybe a direction you want to to head down but how, how do you feel you've developed as a player I mean in terms of like the intensity the increased intensity the competitiveness of the championship I think ever since I've been at club I've been looking to work with some fantastic nines you know I've worked with like Scott Moore George Flanagan Vila Alafi and, and Matty Willey and I've managed to learn little bits off them all um, and you know that League One, League One were interesting because you've got to be on song again all, all the time or a team can get you in and it's exactly the same in championship, except it's that little, little bit quicker, a little bit more intense, a little bit, little bit, um, little bit tougher. You're coming up against seasoned pros in this league, and who just want to take your head off. So you know you've got to, you've got to wise up to, you've got to be smart. But at the same time, you've got to sort of, as well as you know, you're working on the fact you've got to be, you've got to be tough. You've got to withstand the, withstand the intensity week in, week out. You've got to keep working on your skills because there's some very, very good players in this division. I think there's a few who go up to Super League next year and. There's, you know, some real talent and you've got to keep up with that as well as keeping up with the physicality and the intensity of it so I'm learning a lot I feel like I'm learning a lot and I feel like I'm developing as a player as well and, and you know that's not just thanks to my coaching staff but that's thanks to, to the boys in the changing rooms because they help me every single week and you know and I'm always willing to learn and, and they're always willing to, to teach me new things It was the final game of the under 16 season uh, it's no secret you're the assistant coach to, to Mark Dunn and you must have been incredibly proud, proud of that Bulls performance, uh, Castleford unbeaten up to that game last night and Bradford won 32 points to 22 in a real uh, humdinger of a, of a scholarship yeah. game. Yeah, it was outstanding, wasn't it? You know, the, the, they've worked really hard all, all year, the bo- them boys, and you know, some great great young kids in there and I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of rumours going on about what's going on off the field and to be fair, I don't, I don't really look too much into that. For me, it's all about what's on the field and I think all the way down the club, we're performing and, and we're turning out big results and we've some real talent at the club so for me that it's, it's a positive place to be um, and you know Matt, on Mark Dunning I think he's been excellent this year he, he's taught me a lot sort of coaching wise and been real patient with me because I've got things wrong this year in, in the, with regards to coaching and he's tipped me up he's told me where to go to go right and I think last night as well as for the boys I think you know for him to, to overturn a good castle for scholarship side I think it's a real proud moment for him and, and uh, you know, I'm chuffed to bits for him because it's he, no less than he deserves. And, the, and those skills that you're picking up from Mark Dunning on your coaching that can transfer into Sam Hallis, the player for the Bradford Bulls on the pitch? Yeah, that's it. You, sort of looking at it from a coach's point of view, I've learned a lot because you know you kind of see why why John or Mark or, or Leo get really annoyed about certain things that players do and or certainly that I do and you know I've, I've sort of taken that on board and now even I think sort of think from two different angles now and it really helps me out it's it's an interesting way of looking at it because I didn't think that it would help me in, in a playing perspective as much as it has done I thought it would a bit but I thought it's, it's really helped me more than I thought it would which is you know re- really good and I'm really looking forward to continuing.